Today, we are going to connect to feeling perseverance. I feel perseverance when I carry something really heavy up the stairs, when I patiently help somebody who's really sick, and when my mind is strong enough to raise my grades. What makes you feel perseverance? When I feel perseverance, this is what I picture in my mind. A karate chop, heavy weights, the incredible Hulk. What do you picture when you feel perseverance? When I feel perseverance, I use my body to be solid, to get focused, to stand firm. How does your body react when you feel perseverance? It's time for our move and release. Let's move our perseverance and come down to the floor and do a plank. Come down to your hands and your knees. Start off with your hands as wide as your shoulders. We're gonna curl our toes under, lift our whole body up, and just hold there. Curl your toes. One, two, three, lift up. Hold right here. Push away the floor. Can you hold it for 10 more seconds? 10, nine, push away. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Did you feel your focus? Now let's release our perseverance. Reach your arms back, lift your chest up like you're flying. Reach even more. Hold it for five. Reach four, three, two, and one. We're done with our move and release. Congratulations, we did it. We connected to our perseverance and gave it an outlet. How do you feel now? Perseverance can help you reach your goals. Did you know that J.K. Rowling, the author of Harry Potter, was rejected 12 times before she got a book deal? 